Hi, welcome to yet another episode of LND Snippets. In the last episode of LND Snippets, we discussed how people forget most of the things they learn in the classroom. Most of the things they learn in the learning process disappear from their memory um, in about a week's time. I promised you that in this episode, I'm going to talk about what we as LND practitioners, as trainers, facilitators, can do differently to help people retain most of the knowledge or most of the information that we pass on to them in the learning process. But before that, a quick gentle reminder. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you want to get notified about the LND snippets videos regularly. Now let's talk about the techniques that you can use to enable your learners retain more knowledge. I'm going to share with you five powerful techniques that you can use. The first technique that I'm going to talk about is recall. Recall actually is a very, very powerful technique. So when you are teaching, once you complete teaching a particular topic, take a break and get your learners or participants to recall what they have learned and you would see that the chances of their retaining their information or knowledge is much higher than reading something over and over again. So recall is more powerful than reading over and over again or reviewing the same content over and over again. Use this technique powerfully. Recall enables the learner to stretch his or her brain and retrieve information from the memory. Now let's talk about the second technique. The second technique is the seven minute rule. Uh, please remember that learners lose their attention very, very quickly. Researchers have established that most learners typically lose their attention span every seven minutes. So it's a big challenge for trainers and facilitators, isn't it? If the people, if the students forget, uh, if the students lose attention every seven minutes, how are they going to teach anything? So the seven minute rule can become very effective if the master facilitator or the trainer can use it effectively. So the trick is to introduce something in your learning process every seven minutes. Do something differently every seven minutes. If, this, if your learners are engaged in a group activity, stop that after seven minutes and then probably share the story with them. Um, after seven minutes, again, stop that and then probably engage them in self-reading. So do something differently every seven minutes. So when they're about to lose their attention, you are actually doing something different to get their attention back. So master facilitators can use it really very, very powerfully. The third technique that I'm going to talk about is spacing it out. This is again an important technique. All of us know that athletes go and exercise their body um, almost every day. The singers practice singing every day. So learners also need to practice every day or more frequently over a period of time. So if a learner is learning something at one go for three hours, chances are that he or she would not retain much information. But if you break it down into chunks of three sessions uh, of one hour each over three days, the learner is quite likely to retain most of the knowledge. So that's the beauty of spacing it out. Facilitators use that technique to ensure that their learners retain more information. Spacing it out gives the learner the opportunity to exercise their brain. Like the athlete exercises his body or muscles every day, um, the learners need to exercise their brain regularly. So that's how spacing it out is helpful. So instead of trying to learn something, at one go, it's better to space it out over a period of time. Now let's talk about the next technique. 
the fourth one. Fourth technique is about visuals, pictures. In your learning process, use pictures, visuals, images, stories. Because all of this impact the right side of the brain. And when we engage the right side of the brain, which is about creativity, imagination, feelings and emotions, reflection, etc., the chances of retention is much, much, much higher. So use stories, use images, use pictures, something that people can relate to and remember easily. This is a very powerful technique. The last technique that I'm going to share with you today is mind mapping. It's about creating a map in your brain. This is a very, very powerful technique. When learners learn in a classroom and when the trainer or the facilitator is facilitating or delivering training, um, the learners try to take notes. But when they try to take notes, they lose concentration on what the trainer or the facilitator is speaking or saying. When they try to concentrate on what the facilitator is saying, they actually cannot take notes at uh, the right pace. And sometimes uh, learners capture loads and loads of notes, but they go back home and they realize they haven't learned anything. They don't remember anything. So a technique which can actually replace that is mind mapping. So mind mapping is all about creating a map. Um, it's about taking out a piece of paper and writing down at the center of the paper the main theme. Write down the main theme. And then as the facilitator talks about uh, different aspects of the theme, uh, of the same primary theme, you start expanding the map by drawing, by creating branches and sub-branches of the primary theme. At the end of the session, you get a mind map on a piece of paper, clearly articulating all important aspects that you learned in the classroom. This is much more powerful and beneficial than capturing tons and tons of notes. In one of the future sessions, I'll talk more about mind, about mind mapping and how you can use it effectively to retain knowledge. But in this episode, I wanted to introduce that technique, give you a quick overview as one of the five techniques that I talked about today to enable your learners retain information, retain knowledge. So let's all of us continue this beautiful journey of learning I wish you all the best. Keep watching episodes of LND Snippets. Subscribe to the channel so that you will get notified as and when episodes get uploaded to the channel. Good luck. All the best. Bye. Take care.